Let's now look at the convolution 3D operation in TensorFlow. And for that, as we have done previously, we'll look at the inputs, we'll create the inputs and the filter. So for input, uh, the dimensions that we are going to need would be as follows, which is right here. We have the batch, depth, height, width, and the channels. And the format, the data format is going to be N for the batch, B for the depth, then we have height, width, and the channels. Likewise, for the filter, we would need filters. We are going to use the shape that's specified here, and that is filter depth, height, width, in channel, and then the out channel. So let's put that right here. So this is going to be the tensors that we are now going to create. So x is equal to tf dot constant, and we'll start out with the simple uh, three by three matrix. So one comma one comma one, our tensor one comma one comma one, and then again we have one comma one comma one, and this is going to be inside of square brackets. Finally, we can print the shape of this particular tensor and we'll see that it's 3 by 3. What we need to do now is add the batch dimension and the depth dimension. So uh, we added that right here. We added square brackets outside and that's one for batch, one for the depth. And we now need information about channels. So let's say we have two channels, if we add two channels, then uh, first of all, we'll just leave this as one channel. I'm going to do that and copy this particular line and then paste it right here. So that gives us a tensor of the desired dimension, batch, depth, height, width, and we just have one channel. How about we go ahead and add two channels two more channels so we have this as a one two three so the first channel has values of one for all the pixels the second channel has value of two third pixel third channel has value of three for all the pixels and now if you look at the shape we have the shape as one by three by three by three so this three here stands for the channels Next, we also need to create a similar uh, of filter. So for filter, uh, we can again uh, start out with the variable f, let's say tf.constant. And here uh, we again are going to create a filter. Let's say the filter is two by two filter. So we have one comma two, and we have uh, values two comma one. So that's the filter and we can print the shape of this filter print f dot shape and here is the shape two by two and that's good because we have the height and width right there now we need to add the depth dimension so we add square brackets right here and that gives us the dimensions for the depth of that particular tensor and let's put some space here so we can separate this out and we can visualize this so that's that's where we are at now what we need to do is add the dimensions of one for channels and for in channel and one for the out channel so to do that here's what we are going to do is add square brackets around these and so far uh, what we have are we are adding the in channels our x here and uh, as we saw earlier, we have three channels, so we need like, three channels here as well. And we'll keep the same values, or we could change the values. Um, let's say we change the values. So we change the, we say that the values in this filter are two by three, and then this big, uh, again, we have two comma three, and then, uh, or, or else, uh, here's what we can do. Let's put this as two comma three, but then these will keep as one comma one. So let's keep things simple here, one, one, and then we have that. Now, when we run this, we have the depth, we have the 
height, width, and we have the number of channels. Now the last thing that remains is the out channels, and that's the dimension we are we would will have to add right here. And for that, what I'm going to do is add that particular dimension right uh, uh, right up here, I guess. So like so and same thing here and here and here and finally this one this one and we have this last set of numbers so that's the final uh, filter and we now can see that we have the depth we have the filter height width the number of channels and we have the number of we have the out channel so output we are saying that we just need uh, one channel as output that's going to be i think it's going to be just a two by two so why don't we try and do this 3d convolution uh, manually first and then we'll write the code for that so the first thing we will have to do and this is going to be a much larger squares we'll need and so let, let's start drawing them so that's going to be our first channel and so that's and if we are talking in terms of rgb then why not just use those colors let's say the first channel that's the red channel that's this channel and it has the values 111 so that's our red channel it has the values of one 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 in all the pixels so that's the first one next let's draw the green channel it's going to look exactly the same except we have different values for the pixels and in this case all the pixels have a value of two so that's the value of two and finally we are going to create the blue channel uh, where all the pixels uh, have a value of 3 in this case and if you are confused about how these uh, shape of tensors come about uh, you can look at the uh, videos i think earlier video on shape of tens shape of tensor and uh, hopefully that will help you understand the intuition behind creating these shapes next we need to create filters and for filters again uh, we have a separate filter for each channel so let's say for red channel we have a filter that has value of one two uh, two and one then for the green channel right here we have a filter that has a value of one two two and one well, it's this uh, is the same value one two two and one uh, i was wondering we had separate values let's do this why don't we do this i'm going to change this value to one so make it a little bit more interesting so we have one two three and so the values that are uh, written here this is going to be all one 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 in this tensor one 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 that's one that one that one and this one then for the green we have one two two and one one two two and one and finally for the blue part the blue channel we have the same filter same size of filter the values are going to be one three three and one let me write that down one three three and one now to perform the convolution operation here is what we are going to do first we we are going to use this filter on each of these so when we first uh, perform convolution on the red channel that's those are the four pixels we are going to look at and the calculations are going to be uh, exactly the same as what we have done in the previous videos so here we are going to multiply this one by that one this one by that one values in this pixel by that pixel values in this pixel by that pixel so uh, let's see uh, because all these values are ones uh, the output is going to be simply 
4. So I'm going to put the number 4 here for uh, that particular, uh, those particular calculations. And let's undo that. Okay, remove those lines again. And then we can move the filter along the right side by one pixel. So that's the stride of one. So we move this to the right like so by one pixel. And again, we perform the same calculations. We are going to get a value of four because we are multiplying one by one and then adding four ones together. Likewise, after we are done with that, uh, next we are going to move one step down. Let's remove this. And when we move one step down, that those are the four pixels we are going to talk about. And again, when we put this filter on that, when we perform the multiplications, we get a value of four. And finally, in the last case, when we move the, when we um, use the filter, it's going to be these set of four pixels. And uh, again, we multiply these values by this value, this value in this pixel by this, this pixel by this, and we get a value of four. So all, all, all identical values. Next, we move on to the green channel. So let's clear the arrows for the red channel. And now we can talk about the green channel. So in green channel, again, the filters, we start with this particular uh, set of four pixels. And the multiplications are going to be like as follows, two multiplied by one. So we have value of two multiplied by one plus two multiplied by two. So we multiply two by two plus and here we are going to marry this two by the value here. That's again two. So two multiplied by two plus this one multiplied by this two. And so we have this two multiplied by one and this uh, comes out to this is two plus four plus four plus two. And so that's eight plus two ten plus one twelve. So we get a value of twelve. And as before, what we would do then is move uh, the filter one pixel to the right. So let's remove those arrows. And again, I'll draw another uh, square here. So that those are the pixels we are going to look at. And that will again give us the same value of 12 because all the values in the uh, green channel are two. So we remove that particular box and again, uh, repeat the process on this side. So when we multiply uh, the values in for these four pixels, we would again get a value of 12. And finally, when we run this on these four pixels, we would get a value of 12. Likewise, Finally, for the blue channel, uh, we start out with these set of four uh, pixels. We again multiply the, this value, pixel values as follows, multiply values here by this and values here by this. And so we have three multiplied by one plus three multiplied by three plus three multiplied by three plus three multiplied by one. So we get three plus uh, 9 plus 9 plus 3 and that comes out to be 9 plus 9 18 and we have 18 plus 6 and leave that would be 24 so let's uh, we could let me uh, yeah we can write that right here so 24 uh, 24 2 20 plus 4 yep 24 and then all other values are going to be the same uh, and it's going to the convolution would progress as follows we after this set is done we would move one pixel to the right and use these four then we move one pixel down and then look at these four and then finally look at these four values that we have and we would get the values of 24 as we have seen before these are the values and the final step that then remains is adding the values that we just have uh, gotten 
so the values we have are four so let me create another cell or square here so that's going to be four plus two plus twenty four so twenty four plus uh twenty four plus twenty uh, twenty four plus four that gives us twenty eight and twenty eight plus twelve that gives us forty and eight plus two ten and then we have 40 so four zero for addi addition of all these values and then we have all the values that are 40 40 and 40 now when we perform so that's the final output we get after uh, 3d con 3d convolution now what we can do is we can try and uh, we can try and get uh, run the code in tensorflow using this input and see what output we get let me clear some of this screen hold this up and here we can type the code and it's going to be result is equal to tf.nn.conf 3d and here we have input is equal to x filter filters is equal to f and then we have strides is equal so now for strides we need to give a list of uh, I, th I think it's four or five so here you'll see the option uh, greater than five uh, length has to be greater than or equal to five so we have put five and padding will use the same valid valid and finally the data format is going to be equal to batch depth height width and channels and below this we will go ahead and print the shape of the result and the result itself as a numpy array and let's clear this part of the dots and run the code So that we see the output and there is an error let's see what the error is right so the error is saying that the values have to be a float or double so what I'm going to do in this case is uh, the inputs that we have we can add the data type as float 32 and do the same thing for the filter that we uh, tensor that we have created for filter so that's there and that's this one and now we run this again and hopefully we get the output so that's the output we have and as you can see the values are 40 40 40 40 that's exactly what we had so i hope in this video you got an intuition about how to go about using conf2d in tensorflow and if you have questions about uh, shapes of tensor uh, please check out the video earlier video shape of tensors in which we go in depth looking at a video uh, example to create a 3d uh, sort of input for a conf 2d that's going to be the 3d uh, tensor or the actual input tensor is 5d but then the uh, values in the frame are 3d as we saw here height width and we have the channels thank you and i hope to see you all in the next video